All right, so I have um, an airline attached to the high pressure oil system through the ICP fitting um, on the six liter. I have a pigtail attached um, to the IPR. It's the pigtail from the IPR actuator. Tons of them on eBay. There it is down there. Now you can hear the air discharging is coming through the uh, you can see it there the um, turbo drain back fitting to the uh, top of the uh, high pressure reservoir so if it's dumping air through the IPR it's pretty close exit there to the uh, drain tube fitting it's not venting really noisily through the oil filler cap or through the crankcase ventilator on the driver's side. Um, many people would be doing um, repairs for injector leaks, dummy plugs or standpipes. I did the dummy plug on the driver's side just now because I had it all open. But um, check this out. If we actuate the uh, IPR, it closes off and it's absolutely silent. So I, uh, I'm going to put this all engine all back together again. Originally the thought was that the uh, dummy plugs may have gone. I ordered all the gear. O-rings, new updated stand pipes and dummy plugs. I did an EGR uh, delete while I was at it. Um, you can see the new blue hose fitting right there. And um, rather than um, buy a whole bunch of EGR stuff, I just welded the ends on my EGR. Closed. So you can see on another video I'm plasma cutting out some EGR plugs and I think I'm going to start selling them. Uh, they fit perfectly. When you weld, just be careful so that um, if you're applying a lot of heat to it, you just don't burn right through all the stainless because it is, um, well it turns to mud when you're putting it to the plate steel. It makes a beautiful weld though, keep everything clean and it works out beautiful. You can see on the other video. and. Um, Split the turbo while I was at it, cleaned it out. All the veins were clear, clean, non-binding. The actuator was fine, but I did it anyways. I have a Ford tune on the EGR that um, when it's disconnected, it doesn't give a clear engine light, so I'll just be leaving the tune in it. This has never had a chip on it. All of this teardown and maintenance was necess necessitated just because of the probably the ICP sensor going. The $26 on eBay cheapest, maybe 50 bucks regular price, 100 bucks in Canada or more. While I was at it, I did the oil cooler though, and a new rad. The, the rad was really, really plugged up. There's no way that you could disconnect it, remove it, and clean it without a lot of um, work. So while well, I had it out doing all the other stuff, this is the front of it. So it's hidden behind the intercooler and um, the air condenser, air conditioning condenser evaporator. I don't know which it is, the air conditioning uh, radiator. So um, that would have been um, quite a chore to blast through. I'm going to be using a bug screen from now on. And the new radiator, you're going to love this, is, uh, oh, new water pump went in, new idler pulleys. Tensioner went in in the fall, so that wasn't a big deal. Here's the, uh, an all aluminum Mishimoto radiator. It's nicely made. There's a funky eBay listing, badly worded. It went for uh, less than a used radiator, and um, I'm 
pulling the cat, it's uh, just going to go. It should remove um, or lower the head temperatures by um, the exhaust gas temps by about 100 degrees. All right, so I'll shoot another video when it's all done.